Hello and welcome to another video from GameClubTabletop.co.uk uh, Today we're looking at another board game and we're going to be looking at the Tiny Epic Dinosaurs from Gamelin Games um, This is just out in retail now, it was a Kickstarter before that um, And as you can see here from the back, it's a game where we're going to try and raise dinosaurs And the people who have the best dinosaur ranch will be the ones who win the game um, As you'd expect from Tiny Epic, it's a small box well, hopefully we can get in see what's inside so as with all the tiny epic games if you're not familiar with them um they're all in about this size box they do do ultra tiny uh it's even smaller but uh it's a really nice glossy printed box and uh again the artwork's always really nice you can use these as dice trays and things they work really well keep everything contained if you're away there's the rule book again full color it doesn't tend to be too much in the way of, of complexity with the rules but uh, still enough depth to keep them interesting so even though they're in a small box they are essentially a full game and you can see one of the key things here is the meeples so you've got little rancher meeples to use to take your actions with and then the dinosaurs that you're going to be trying to raise on your ranches to score your points and to con to complete various different contracts within the game. Um, we've got a special dice with different symbols on for what you're trying to achieve, assumably. There we go, rolls nicely. And again, more lovely artwork within the boxes as ever. Some adverts from the other games, many of which are available on GameClub, tabletop.co.uk. Um, if you're interested in getting more of these lovely little games. So I've managed to open this packet already, so we'll see what's in here. These are the bigger cards. So we've got the final scoring thing. We've got a turn thing. Shows you which round you're on and what you get to do on each phase. What's this one here? So here's somewhere where we're going to obviously keep the research cards and so that you know where to put the discard pile out on the table. And then I think these are the cards that you're going to use <coughs> to build your ranches on. So there's lots of different ones of these. So you can expand the island. Or maybe that's where you... Yeah. And then these are going to be the player cards, I'm guessing. Where you keep your ranches, your different... Here we go, show how everything breeds, what you need to do each thing. So again, we've got lots of different ones here. All for the different colours. And then these are showing you if it's... If you look on here, look, it tells you... Your contracts that you can take to try and do. And then this, assumably, is what resources you get. There's a one to two player side, a three to four player side. And again, you've got the one to two or three to four. Often with Tiny Epic, they do put a solo mode in. Uh, which can just be a scoring thing where you, you're trying to outscore yourself or sometimes you know there's a bit of an ai and you're trying to outscore the ai but they tend to be good fun and again here we go so all these cards will go out and make up the game board so again this is how they they kind of make their games fit in such a small space they use these lovely cards here we have all the different other cards that will be used in the game and there are tons of them so they tend to use a card system to make maps and you're making a map to explore and here we've got different contracts assumably you have to have two two of each two of those one one and then you get the points for that at the end so the contract cards you've got public and private so some of them you might be trying to do without anybody knowing various different research cards again the artwork is really nice um and then like those ones rival rancher so maybe you're trying to outdo somebody else on the table and you get extra points if you manage to do that so essentially the point of the game is that some crazy scientists have set up a jurassic world for visitors to go and see on his little island and you are responsible for providing him with the dinosaurs and not only that you get a lovely little Wooden dinosaurs and the meeples that they produce are really good, always really interesting. They're always doing different things with them, using them in different ways. So I think I haven't played it yet. Um, 
hopefully we'll get it out today give it a play and i can do a little review of it maybe but there it is tiny epic dinosaurs small box but always big games of gaming always great games there's some really good ones out there I'm not just saying about tiny epic dinosaurs um but there's some other great ones if you like zombies or space or whatever it may be there's games out there even a zelda-ish one which is really good fun as well so go and have a look um if you want to pick this up this uh, will be on the store soon all right thank you very much and goodbye from game club